<laughs> now on to our dinosaur of the day, Shantungasaurus, which was a request from Garrett via Facebook. Not this Garrett, a different Garrett. <laughs> so thanks. The name means Shandong lizard, and the type species is Shantungasaurus giganteus. It was described in 1973 by Hu and known from five incomplete skeletons, and they found a bone bed with the five individuals. They composited bones to mount one of the largest hadrosaurids, and the composite skeleton is mounted at the Geological Institute of China in Beijing, and it's 48 feet or 14.7 meters long. Another mounted skeleton, which used to be called Juchengosaurus maximus, is 54 feet or 16.6 .6 meters long. And now Juchengosaurus maximus is considered by many to be a synonym of Shentungosaurus. Uh, some people think that it was a different growth stage. So, Shantungosaurus is one of the largest known ornithischians. Yeah, that's huge. 48 feet long for an ornithischian. <laughs> yeah. It may have weighed up to 16 tons or 18 short tons, and the skull that was found is 5.3 feet or 1.63 meters long. Oof. Yeah, Spinosaurus had a similar length, but didn't weigh as much. It's not clear why this dinosaur was so large, but... It was a saurolophene hadrosaurid that lived in the late Cretaceous in what is now China. And Xu Xing and colleagues said that it is similar to Edmontosaurus. And now that we have met Xu Xing and seen that he works with Phil Curry, who is from Canada, it's kind of interesting that he makes this comparison to this Canadian dinosaur. Yeah, he was saying too that there are a lot of similarities between some Chinese and some North American dinosaurs. So... Shantungosaurus had no crest on the top of its skull, but it had a large nasal opening. Near its nostrils is a large hole, possibly covered by a loose flap that it could inflate to make sounds. Huh. And it may have made sounds to defend its territory. It also had a toothless beak, but its jaws had 1,500 chewing teeth. Good old dental batteries. Yep, they get the jab done. <laughs> so Shantungosaurus is part of the family Hadrosauridae, which is also known as duckbill dinosaurs. And that's a family of common herbivores from the Cretaceous whose fossil has been found in Asia, Europe, and North America. Yeah, they're everywhere. In large numbers. The cows of the Cretaceous, as they're called. 